The event is the 21st edition of West Africa Premier Film Festival, the Abuja International Film Festival with the theme Beyond Borders, Bridging Cultures Through Cinemas. The event brought together filmmakers, regulators and other cinematic stakeholders from around the world. Speakers after speakers highlighted the role festivals play in the growth and development of nations as they serve as platforms to showcase opportunities and attract foreign investments. They also commended the organisers of the Abuja International Film Festival for their consistency, passion and setting the pace for film festival in Nigeria and West Africa. I really so we had this idea of um, also creating a new platform for film in Nigeria. At that time, there were no film festivals. Um, we were the first to pioneer the film festival circuit in Nigeria 21 years ago. There were no cinema soon, like what we had to do. We have we in a multiple cinema where we were, where films had been screened. At that time, there were no cinemas. What you had were just uh, makeshift. Not even we, as the festival did, there was to use hotels where we would now put projector, put a screen, and then show films. We were watching, so we felt. Over time, something will happen, and thank God, seven years after we started the festival, the first cinema came up in Lagos, we were still And of course, today, you know how many screens we have in Nigeria, about 360. So for us, that's one, one development we are very proud of, but that was what the festival circuit opened the eyes of the exhibitors. We found that people want to work this film, people want to also engage. So that was basically what we did when we started 21 years ago. If something has lasted for 21, it has come of age. It should just simply announce itself that even you bother about it. So every year around this time, I look forward to Abuja International Film Festival. Before I became executive director, I've been coming here on my own covering the festival. And even now that I'm in the position, especially at the head of a parastata that is responsible for distribution in Nigeria, and knowing that film festivals are distribution platforms, then I should be here. I shouldn't even wait for any invitation. I should look for the invitation to be here. That's the spirit. I mean, we apply to go to international festivals. Why can't I apply to do same for a Nigerian festival? Not just a Nigerian festival, but an independently run Nigerian festival. This is one festival that this, this the Fat Media Group have given themselves up for, and they have been organizing it from the first to the 21st edition. They did the census, but just hit the nail on the head. So when we, when we come for events of this nature, it's not just the paparazzi, it's the things you take home. So, you know, initiatives, perspectives, things spoken of, things you need to pick up. So it, it's like a fuel station. You refuel from the things you have heard and use them to build yourself. So when I as an event, I, I, I wouldn't want to talk about it as an event but dwelling on the things that have been said already for the opening session. It speaks to the fact that it's a time to like pluck so much you can pluck. You know, like they said, get all you can and can all you get. I would describe it as good, successful. Um, one thing is preparing a meal. The other thing is uh, when you're celebrating a birthday or preparing a meal for people, whether they will come and eat the meal. So, um, for a festival that has about a, more than a thousand five hundred films, so you can imagine, yeah. So this opening ceremony is good. Actors Guild of Nigeria have always supported this international film festival from the onset, and we continue to support them because they're doing very well. And honestly, it's something mind blowing for somebody who does not live in Abuja who does not have business in Abuja, doing Abuja International Festival for 21 years is a feat. He's actually someone to beat. Like um, um, Abuja International Film Festival has always been, I believe for sure that this is um, event will really be on a very fast lane. It um, attracts a lot of people from within the FCT and of course outside of the FCT and even internationally. Because, like, as I speak currently, we have um, <clears throat> we have delegates that are in here from Cameroon, we are from Ghana, and I know that we are from some neighboring um, African countries. So, and I keep telling people that when you look at the film festival, it's also a distribution platform, you know, because if you sit in the hall and you watch some of the films that have been submitted, 
some of these films were submitted by young filmmakers. And um, of course, we know that they are the future of Nigeria. We have a lot of young Nigerians that are more interested in the entertainment industry. They are putting their own quota by shooting films. And when they come to festival, it provides them the opportunity for distributors. You know, even international distributors, the likes of um, the streamers, like the Netflix, the Amazons, and then, of course, the cinemas too. And it also provides collaboration as well. I wish them the best. And I pray that government and more people partners with them and support them. Uh, first of all, it's been an amazing journey for Abuja International Film Festival. This is 21 years, possibly the run, longest uh, running film festival in Africa that is privately funded. It's something to commend uh, Fidelis Duca and his team have done a wonderful job. And the festival here, the atmosphere is fantastic. The opening film, Ebrahimia Road, is very uh, educational, very historical at the same time, but uh, a very iconic figure in Nigeria, Professor Renee Shonka. It's, it's been an amazing time here. Uh, nothing to regret, big ups at uh, uh, Abuja International Film Festival. The Director General of the National Film and Video Censors Board, Dr. Shebu Husseini, also urged filmmakers to take advantage of the licensing waiver granted to investors wishing to establish community cinema in the country by the Nigerian government. We have 321 standard screen, standard screen in the country. 321 is so small for a population of 200 people. If you do the math, you find out that we are even talking about them. Um, uh, about 900 or 800 people to one screen in this country, and that's not fair enough. It's in um, in um, India, they have about 10,000 screens or more. But what we are looking for is community cinema, a place that can seat 50, 75, 100 people, comfy. They have their fans blowing them. If you can, if you can't afford AC, you are sitting on your plastic or your or your on your chair, a film is showing, local film that is, you can use a projector to project, you don't need to wear a DC, DCI machine to be able to do that, you come out from your home, you go there, you don't have to take an Uber to go very far, which makes the price of ticket very expensive. For instance, I, I stay in uh, Duse, there is no cinema between Duse and Central Business District. To take an Uber from Dusey to this place and back will cost me close to about 12,000 naira. The ticket alone is 6,000 naira for the, so 18,000 naira. If I'm a civil servant, how can I have that experience? If I have a wife who says she wants to watch a film, that means that we're going to spend about 36,000. If I have two children, minimum wage has gone. So we need to be, have models that can encourage people to go and have some experiences. And those models are the models that they can afford. No, I love it. Yeah, actually, we're about doing it in my state. Because that will, that will make us connect to the masses. You know, like in the village, they can't get to cinema. But if able to set up that community cinema, maybe in a local government like Town Hall, and turn it to a cinema, I believe people will just like, be able to go out and watch. And it will, it will help move our film to these remote areas and all that. I love that. So the community cinema is a fantastic initiative by the census board giving the five-year um, window for those who want to establish. You see, that is a challenge we also have. We have just about um, less than 360 screens all over Nigeria. India has 48,000 screens. China has over 79,000 screens. Yes, as a last count. I was in China in August, September. I just came back. And like I, could, I can tell you that, eh, virtually every neighborhood has a screen. And you know why? Not all the cinemas are like silver best cinema here, yeah, multiplex, where you have different layers, floors, no, you can have community cinema in your locality, in your village. So what we want is what we, what we, what we are even advocating eh, is that we must create that community cinema initiative in our different communities, and that is what we think is laudable with what the National Film and Video Censorship Board is doing. It's the least I can do for you, Mr. Shuminka. Then, with my policeman still in charge, I stopped at my university quarters on Ibrahimi Road, informed my family that I might be away for a while. Enjoyed a light but tasty meal shared by my police captor. 
I did not know when next such tastes would be afforded me, and I set off on the route to prison detention. Since 2003, the Abuja Film Festival has stood as a beacon of African storytelling, uniting filmmakers, artists and audiences to celebrate the creativity and diversity of African cinema. From showcasing impactful films to hosting engaging panels and industry events, the Abuja International Film Festival serves as a platform for authentic African narratives to reach the world. Mm -hmm.